In the spring of 2013, a male and female fox built a den in an unusual location, right above the Yellowstone picnic area on the north side of Yellowstone National Park. At first, no one noticed. But on May 23rd, two kits emerged, and the foxes suddenly had a big audience of people watching their every move. They became instant celebrities, and they didn't seem to mind the people a bit. Humans were an accepted part of their landscape. Both parents spent a lot of time away from the den hunting, especially the male. He was an efficient hunter. Even sagebrush didn't stop him. He usually got his prey, which was almost always ground squirrels. He gave most of the ground squirrels to the vixen. The vixen gave the kits ground squirrels as she began to wean them. The vixen takes a cached squirrel from her kit who wants to play with it. The vixen gets another and a tug of war ensues. The vixen spent most of her time at the den guarding her two kits. She was a patient mom even at the most trying of times. We watched the kits grow feed, and drive their parents crazy for nine days. They became a part of our lives. We learned to predict their movements, and we fell in love with them. When an adult was present, the kids were out of the den and playing. When mom had been gone for a while, the babies rushed to nurse when she returned. We knew they had enemies. The most obvious was a raven. Mom was on constant lookout for him, but he still managed to steal the occasional leftovers. We were concerned they would move their den, but we never worried about what actually did happen. On the ninth day, the unthinkable happened. A badger showed up. The vixen fought hard but the badger actually made it into the den with one of the kits. Mom was understandably upset. At one point, the badger came out, but only to fight again and then return to the den through one of their escape holes. The vixen frantically dug vigorously to evict the badger from her den. She was not successful. The male returned and tried to help. But then a kid appeared, totally unhurt and wondering what all the fuss was about. The kid seemed undisturbed and more interested in the bighorn sheep than the badger. It took us a minute to figure it out. We thought the badger had been down there killing the kit, but he had actually been eating their cache of ground squirrels. Now the kit was safe, but the badger was still in the den and the vixen wanted him out. The badger and the vixen again fought ferociously for the possession of the den. Badgers have few enemies since they are so aggressive. The vixen had more than met her match, especially without the male's help. Once again, the badger gained possession of the den. She spent hours trying to get him out without success. Sometime that night, she dug a new den about 30 yards west of her original den. The kids understood. They moved to the new den, staying in the den while their parents were gone, and out playing near it when mom was home. The next day, towards mid-afternoon, the male left to go hunt. While he was out hunting, the vixen inexplicably left. She knew the badger was in her original den, but she left. We had never seen her leave the kits while the badger was there, but she did. The kits went into their new den. After she left, the badger came out of the original den and sniffed around, wary of the vixen. Feeling safe from the vixen, he trailed the kits to the new den. The old den had three exit holes. The new den, hastily dug, only had one. When the female returned, she immediately realized her kits and the badger were in the same den, a den with only one exit hole. We all hoped for a second miracle, but after a few hours, we realized it probably wouldn't happen. She tried and tried, but she was unable to dislodge the badger. 
when the vixen brought out the remains of a kit, which she carefully buried, we knew it was over. We had fallen in love with those kits, who had willingly given us a glance at their lives. Several days later, the badger finally left the area. The adult foxes sniffed the kit's remains and then walked over the hill together. They have returned several times, but they don't stay. We will never forget them.